Tonight, the Haverhill School Committee will meet, and parents hope to hear some more answers and some solutions about the ongoing violence in the high school. The board addressed the latest fight in its most recent meeting, but very few parents were actually there. And as WBZ's Katrina Kincaid shows us, one mother is calling on other parents to become more involved. Tonight, Haverhill is hosting a school committee meeting where some parents are hoping that the recent violence in schools is addressed more in depth, but they're also hoping that more parents show up. <laughs> two weeks ago, a fight between two Haverhill high schoolers led to one being arrested. We are implementing our repercussions for each of the students. Certainly having a knife in school is an expellable offense, and we're following that process. No one was hurt, but a knife was dropped during the fight. Either way, parents say this is a pattern of violence that needs to be stopped. The fact that they don't feel safe and all this violence is going on, children aren't receiving the best education that they deserve. Brittany spoke at the last school committee meeting but was frustrated by the lack of other parents. She says the outrage on social media doesn't translate to public testimony. I have gone above and beyond to try and raise more awareness to get more people to come because the more of us that stand up and demand change, the more likely we are to get that change and make sure our kids are safe. Last weekend, she stood in front of City Hall for three hours trying to get people's attention about the next meeting in hopes that more come. I would like the entire school committee room to be filled with parents and students. The school committee meetings at 7 o'clock tonight inside of City Hall. In Haverhill, Katrina Kincaid, WBZ News. Katrina, thank you.